so I should actually probably be taking out the back and uh, hit with a switch and that these last two uh, kind of usability issues that I'm going to talk about throughout this series uh, actually came here at the end when they actually should have been around a lot longer before this probably back in the navigation section. The first one I wanted to kind of talk about is drop downs. Now I have talked a lot about navigation from the standpoint of you know having too much crazy navigation and having navigation in too many places. Well one of the things and I just got asked this today when I was at a client site was talking about drop downs. You know what do you think of drop downs? How effective are drop downs and that? So so uh, drop down is something that's been around in SharePoint for a long time. Uh, in the web world, it's not used as much, though it is used on some websites. Overall, where I've seen the pattern most useful is when it's a website that's very function driven. So actually for SharePoint, that can actually kind of fit. But just because you have drop downs doesn't mean you want to go crazy and see how many different levels you can get to. So uh, as you can kind of see on our bad tip here, you know, you'll see that I have a bunch of different drop downs. One of the things that you want to think about is that the mentality that a drop down puts into users is that many people think when I see a drop down that means that if something isn't in any of those drop downs and it probably doesn't exist and, but on the flip side what we a lot of times use as content creators and administrators that to get to key pieces of information or something that's important but a lot of times what happens is we'll use the drop down to get to some type of key piece of information here that we want and then if you're going to get to anything else you click up here and actually we We've seen a lot that when you actually have that on drop downs, people will not click that top level, and a lot of times they get confused on what's going to be under there. So the rule of thumb is when you're using drop downs, actually the good rule of thumb is don't use drop downs unless you really need to. And if you really need to, make sure it's very contextually clear, otherwise you have a very good understanding of why you'd want to use your drop down and what it's for, and that you're getting to very specific information and not to real generalities, and that in using that drop down you're actually not going to prevent users from going to the main part of that category and missing something else.